Hello everyone, my name is Ankush Jain and in this video, I will show you how you can implement authentication with Amazon Cognito in your Angular app using AWS Amplify. I am on this page where I have provided all the steps that we are going to follow in this tutorial. The link of this page you can find in the description below. So the first step is to create an Amazon Cognito user pool. So we'll go to AWS console, we'll search for Cognito and we'll select this. Once you're on this screen, just select this bar and click on user pools. Click here, create user pool. And for the authentication providers, just leave this default. Here, select email. To keep this demo simple, I'm just selecting email as a sign in option. Select next. Password policy should be Cognito defaults. Don't enable multi-factor authentication. Leave this default. Don't no need to touch anything on this screen. And here on the required attributes, just select name. Because when a user is going to be registered itself, then he should provide name also along with the email. So that's why you should select the attributes that you want user to put at the time of signing up. I just want name. Select next. Here, select send email with Cognito. Select next. Provide a user pool name. So I'm just providing a user pool name. Demo user pool. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just adding one, two, three, four, five to make sure that this user pool name is unique for this Mumbai region. All right, now initial app client, so select public client and the name of the app client should be, I'm keeping it the similar with the user pool name, just adding client in the suffix and just select next, review and create, scroll down to the bottom and click on create user pool. All right, so you have successfully created a user pool. Now we will move with the next step. So we have to now create an Angular app and for that you have to create or you have to install Angular CLI and you can run this command to install Angular CLI. Since the CLI is already installed at my machine so I will not run this command. The second thing is you need to run this command to create an Angular application. So what I will do, I will just go here and open this folder in command prompt and I will run this command ng new hello world no standalone I am adding no standalone because if I don't add it then it will not include app.module.ts alright so I will just hit enter and this will create a hello world application and here I am selecting SAS as a CSS preprocessor I don't want server side rendering for this demo so I will just say no and this is going to create a new angular application Okay, meanwhile, this creation is in progress. We'll move to the next step, what we are going to do. So we have to install a couple of Nougat packages, sorry, NPM packages. And the first one would be AWS Amplify UI Angular. And the second one would, would be AWS Amplify. Or you can call it first one, this one, and this is the second one. Anyway, so let me explain you what these NPM packages are. So AWS Amplify is a framework that has been created by AWS to make sure that the front-end application can easily consume the AWS backend services. For example, if you want to consume S3 bucket or AWS AppSync API or Amazon API Gateway based REST APIs or any other backend services such as Amazon Cognito for authentication. So we have to have a library that should make it very easy to implement or integrate with these backend services where AWS Amplify and NPM packages come into the picture. So this Amplify library has a lot of methods which makes the development experience a lot easier for the front-end front -end developers. The second thing is related to UI. So for example, in this video, we are going to learn how to create a a login on and registration screen in angular application so all those stuff has been encapsulated in this particular 
library which is related to UI so it provides us UI component to create login and registration screen in with which is basically linked with Amazon Cognito so what we will do we will just install these NuGet packages sorry npm packages once the application is done so application is now created I will open this application in Visual Studio code then I will just close this and I will open the terminal I am here I should uh, okay let me close this so I should first cd to hello world and then I should open this application so now the application is now available here on the left hand side we'll go in the terminal we'll open a new terminal and then i will install that npm packages okay these packages are basically installing and one more thing i would like to tell like all the steps that i have created here i have followed the aws documentation specifically amplify documentation you can find the references below so if you think that something is not working you can go on these links and kind of make sure that what mistake you have done and you can rectify it accordingly all right so going back so we have kind of installed these npm packages and they are now installed all right the packages are now installed what is the next step so next step is to use the following to configure aws amplify with existing AWS resources since we only have Amazon Cognito so we are going to configure the Amplify application with Amazon Cognito we'll go in the app module.ts in app app module.ts I will just take it little down and we'll just write this code here and here I think I should get error like yeah I am getting error and I will just import the statement import this module and I have configured Amplify. The next thing I need to do, I think one thing I forgot to add here. Yeah, so if I go, just a second, if I go here on the documentation, and as I said, I have kept, I have, you know, uh, articulated the document from these documentation. So one more thing you need to do is, once you have done it yeah you have to import this module amplify authenticator module so i will uh, that i have missed in my notes so i will add it there but in the imports you will have to add this authenticator module all right that's done what is next i will close this going back so we have added this we have added uh, the authentication module as well for CSS you have to copy this and you you can copy this in your style.css so our style.css we can just search for style search and you can remove this and you can just add this line which is basically CSS for the UI component now we have added the CSS finally the time to add the authenticator component so we'll copy this and okay before copy I'll let me run this application and just serve and this will basically kind of launch this application in browser okay there is some issue cannot find amplify where it cannot okay because we have not saved this file earlier so i will just drop this and we'll run it again ng serve it is now building and application is up and running at this port so we'll open you can see the angular application is up and running now what we will do we'll just provide the proper client id and client user pool id and client id so here this is our user pool id or we can copy it from here which is our user pool id and the client id would be from app integration scroll down this is our client id all right so this application is running and now amplify has been configured in this angular application so we have to add this authenticator component in html file so 
we are now having a, a component HTML so what I will do I will remove everything from this so you see after that nothing appears here means everything is deleted now I will add this so the moment I add this you can see a UI component for angular uh, sorry in a angular UI component uh, which is connected with Amazon Cognito instance is now created and we can use it to create users in our application or allow them to log in into the application now because we also selected name attribute there at the uh, time at the you know when we were creating this uh, Amazon Cognito user pool so that use the name attribute is not coming here and second thing we want the users to log in with their email so it should be email rather than a username because people might get confused uh, where, where should I enter my email so for that let's do one thing so just try to create a user so let me try to create a user with my name so for example email my name and the password that I'm going to use is I will show you the password so what I will use here uh, let me show you ABCD one two three dollar and then I will use the same now do this so they are saying that username should be email so it has automatically identified like username should be email so but it is not a good practice like the the end user may confuse so we will do some uh, kind of customization in this UI and for that we will move to our uh, seventh step so here what we will do we will just add this login mechanism as email in amplify authenticator so what we'll do now if you go here you can see the username has been changed to email all right and we can create a user with this email so sorry i will again log in and with the same password abcd123 dollar and i will use the same here all right so sorry this is wrong this is my personal email so now I will try to create the account and as expected I am getting another error that name is required because we had made the attribute name as a required field at the time of registration but we are not providing it here so for that in such cases you might have to tweak this UI little bit or customize this UI little bit so for that you have to do you have to use this attribute which is basically a sign up attribute and this sign up attribute here you can provide the fields that you want in your sign up uh, authenticator UI which are not coming by default so here I have added name and you can see now the name is appearing here right email password confirm password and name so this name is now coming and everything is good and you might thinking like, like this is only one name attribute but how would I identify what exactly I should you know uh, provide in this string so you can go and refer the sign up attributes uh, documentation all right and here you can find cognito user pool attributes so there are a bunch of attribute like standard attributes address birth date email family name gender so whatever input you want to take from the user you can just add here for example I am I will just see I mean how does it look so if I just add a gender let me see how the UI changes sorry now if I just refresh it and see you can see oh the UI is not changing why it is not changing maybe because we have not made it required anyway let me try with again other attribute so nickname sign up attributes yeah so the nickname is appearing I don't know why gender is not appearing here but yeah you you can try these attributes and 
make sure that those attributes which you are adding there sh uh, are also appearing here so now it doesn't look good like the name and nickname are coming below and the email and password and confirm password are coming on top of it so this sequence is not good so what i will do first i will remove this nickname which is not required in our case and then we will go back to this screen on our seventh uh, i mean we'll go to the eighth step which is form fields so what we will do we will be using form fields attribute to pro to manage the sequence so i will do it like this i will add form field attribute and will you know provide the reference of form fields uh, field which we will define in the app component.cs sorry here i will copy it and i will save this and it is expecting this form fields in backend app component ts so what we will do like so what we are doing here we for the sign up we are providing the sequence name email password confirm password and what should be the sequence so we just you know updated the sequence like this and now if we go here in our app component in our hello world application you can see the name is now coming on the top email is the second one the third is password and fourth is confirm password all right so we can just refresh this and you can see all right everything is good so far so now we will try to create a user okay we'll come on the ninth step later but let's try to create a user so what i will do i will just provide my name here and my email id and then the password which i was using earlier which is a dummy password which I don't use okay so we'll create an account and you see it has automatically sent an email to my email address the verification code and automatically provided you this screen so you don't have to write custom code to do such things so let me check my uh, verification code which I received in my email account okay I got this and it is 814 okay let me type here and see i am now logged in into my application and if i go here in my user pool so if i go back here and you can see i have been registered and a, as a confirmed user here in user pool and i did my registration from this app from angular app and the same thing i will do i will now sign in with my email id sorry so i will sign in with my email id with the password sorry not admin abcd one two three dollar i guess this one was so i am now logged in with the with my credentials okay so what is the next thing all right so the next thing is to create polyfill.ts file and just add the following stuff and then open angular js file and add this polyfill ts reference there also in the ts config json so i am not doing this in this tutorial because uh, i think even without doing it everything is working fine so i am leaving this up to you to do this or implement this but because i just added here because i found the similar thing here so if i go on this documentation in authenticator component and if you see here so here you will find like add global and process shim so for that they have you know added this step here that's why i added the similar st step there just to make sure that something doesn't break but since as of now nothing is breaking i am skipping this step and leaving this step you know the decision on you to implement it or not all right so the last thing we have implemented login and you know we have created a authenticator component and connected this component with the amazon cognito now sometimes we need methods like i want to get the name of the logged in username or i want to get the uh, jwt token associated with the user so how would i do that so for for that what i have done i have 
provided you an auth service class and you just need to go and create this auth service class in your application code so in your src you just go and create a auth service dot ts and just paste this code so this code kind of you know give you an idea what kind of methods you will be able to get from this library and uh, similarly there are a lot of other methods which might not be present in my class but you you now get an idea how to access the library functions or library methods in your uh, code so you can you know i guess you can do it further so i will just save it so i have methods like get current username get current session get current user full name and sign out so what i will do i will show you how to use these messages so i will go here in my app component and l here all right so i have to i guess use implement so implement on in it and once i implement on in it i have to implement ng on in it so yeah i will just go here and ng on in it now i think i also need a constructor so i will just go here and create a constructor and since this is a auth service class which is injectable so what i will do i will just use it like auth service and this is my auth service all right so let me collapse this so i have created a auth service class i have uh, added an instance of this auth service in the constructor now i want to use it and i want to show you how you can consume the methods of amplify library so here i am calling get current use current user okay and this is basically will provide you the object of your current user who is logged in so let uh, user and i will await because this is an asynchronous method and here i will basically just log the username sorry console dot log the user so what will happen when the application will run this code will be executed in ng on in it it will go here it will fetch current user and this get current user is basically coming from this library all right so what it will do it will check the currently logged in user and how does it check because this library basically if you see here the amplify library so when a user logs in it maintains couple of uh, cookies and also i guess in the session storage uh, or maybe in local storage so they maintain the data somewhere in these kind of local storage or session storage or cookie so that you know by that they identify which user is currently logged in all right so this method get current user will identify currently logged in user in your browser and will provide that information so you see i if i reload it uh, there is object username user id sign in details which is ankushin358 and this is the authentication flow you get that information now you might have created an api that is secured with the same amazon cognito user pool and you might have to pass authorization token or id token or access token so you can use this information get current session so let me use this method and here let me use session and let me print session so here you see you are getting access token id token sign in details and id tokens you can you are getting the payload all this kind of information and you just need to and similarly here you are also getting payload uh, in access token and you might ask you might be asking like how would i access it i will give you an example you will just need to use two string method and that will provide you entire id token or similarly if you do it on access token you will get entire access token here and that you can pass as a authorization header in your application so these kind of methods you get from aws simplify library and you can also use sign out method uh, to basically sign out the user from your application so let's use sign out uh, so yeah i will use this sign out method from here and that is i guess is not available so i will ignore this 
sorry I will ignore this and just use this so if I sign out it so the user has been signed out and we have been redirected to, to login page so yeah I mean this is how we can kind of implement cognito authentication and leverage those powerful functions in our, our angular app to build a full stack application that is very secured uh, with aws amplify uh, sorry aws uh, cognito or amazon cognito so we are done with almost all the steps here i have provided the references because amplify changes uh, Frequently in the documentation, you know, you may find that something is not working as per uh, this notion page So you can just go and check out the amplify documentation and uh, Make the corrections in your code to get the things working All right, so that's what I wanted to cover in this video I hope that you will like this video and if you have really liked this video Then just press like button and subscribe my channel for more such content. Thank you very much